All right, everybody, it's that time again. It's time to do what we do. Let's get into some whiskey, whiskey six. Tonight we have a new riff, uh, Kentucky Straight Malted Rye Whiskey, aged six years. Again, from new riff, I absolutely love this bottle. That is my second or potentially third bottle of this new riff product, which is outstanding. Uh, this week, when I was in Kentucky, uh, doing some shopping, I also ran into this Smoke Wagon Malted Straight Rye Whiskey. So what do you got to do? You got to put them head to head and see which one's better. Let's see what we got. This is going to be fun. New Riff, Covington, Kentucky, found in 2014 uh, by a man named Ken Lewis. Uh, Smoke Wagon out of the uh, Nevada H&C company down there. H&C Distilling Company. Um... So, without further ado, let's get rolling. All right, so, drum roll, number one. Malted rye whiskey. Holy cow. Who would ever thought? I, I, I didn't know. You know, I didn't know uh, that it could be so good. I mean, that is one. This thing smells like some great, amazing candle that you would buy at a store that's just like a, just like a rye, like uh, fig, cinnamon. It just smells like a treat almost like a pastry uh it's definitely baking spices galore uh it's, it's almost like i mean like you're making some type of holiday pastry treat malted rye whiskey absolutely i can't say that i love it because i mean i love what i've tried i haven't tried a whole lot of it uh from what i know i've tried this new riff uh, and this as well and they're similar so i'm just trying to figure out which one's going to take the cake here? The nose on that is outstanding. You could literally make a recipe of that and it, you could eat that. That is amazing. Wow. Very similar. This one, however, smells a little bit more, a little bit more grassy. I hate to say grassy, but it, it has a little bit of a earthy, more of a mint minty note this one's just a little bit more minty a little bit more pickly this right here is like like complexion is at its finest there's so much going on and all of it is good the, the way that that combines together to form this right here is incredible so let's go ahead and give them a taste cheers oh mm. The crazy thing about that is as good as it smells, one of the best smelling whiskeys you're going to nose. I mean, just so much going on in that um, is it tastes just as good. That is absolutely a great pour. I'm going to say that's probably this new riff, uh, 100 proof. Um, again, Kentucky Street Malted Rye Whiskey, age six years. This one definitely, I'm getting like pickle and, and mint. Completely different nose. Uh, again, they're both malted dry whiskeys, but this one is a completely different nose. It doesn't have the fig and the almost like gingerbread house and all the baking spices. Those really good uh, baking spice notes. This doesn't quite have that. Yeah, I mean, all in all, still, still not a bad pour at all. However, this lacks that the complexity and the sweetness, um, and and just the blend and, and of all the caramely uh, rye notes. 
that, that I really, really like in, in, a, in a rye whiskey, in a malt or rye whiskey. So this here is definitely the better one, which is the New Riff. Uh, I mean, that New Riff's hard to beat. If you have not had a bottle of this New Riff uh, malted rye whiskey six year, it's at the distillery. Matter of fact, I just saw it on the shelves here in uh, the Columbus, Ohio area a couple weeks ago. I thought it was a distillery only bottle until I saw it at one of the stores here in Columbus uh, and realized that it wasn't. So this is a must have, absolutely hands down, must have, nothing against Smoke Wagon, love their uncut, unfiltered stuff. That's not, that's not bad, but when you're matched up against something like that, this is a special, special bottle right here. Uh, New Riff really knocked it out of the park with that malted rye whiskey, but um, but anyway, let's get these down and move on to the next project. Down the hatch, as always, outstanding time. Uh, I'm going to turn around here and figure what else we can get into to kill some more time this evening. Uh, I'll chat at you all soon. Thanks for joining me. Love doing this. Love hanging out with everybody and having some whiskey. Y'all have a good night. Thanks again.